Welcome friends. We are your hosts, Sandy and Wade, baby best friends turned husband and wife and business partners. This podcast is for the dreamers, the movers and shakers, and those who seek to attract their dream life. Strap in, getting magnetic in three, two, one. Like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. You just decide what it's gonna be, who you're gonna be, how you're gonna do it. And then from that point, the universe is gonna get out your way. This moment in time, this is your time to rise. You got the Critties clan together in the, the whole studio. Clan. <laughs> the whole fam. We're 39 weeks pregnant. And today we're celebrating a very special day. Guys, Getting Magnetic is one years old. Can we say happy birthday to Getting Magnetic? Sing. No, can you say it? Oh, say it. Happy birthday. Yeah, technically <laughs> we're, we're on the eve. you about to break out into song? Yeah, I was like, I'm uh, going to be like, happy birthday, <laughs> getting magnetic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Clearly we have no plan when we hit record. <laughs> um, but we were just reflecting on the past year and how November 4th of 2020 was the day that we launched Getting Magnetic. And we were actually very strategic to, with that date. Do you remember why we chose that date, babe? Yeah, wasn't it like... Right after the election. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a very intense election last year. And we were like, you know what? Let's be the light and let's launch something positive the mm-hmm. day after one of the most controversial elections of all time. Yeah. Wow. So today is the eve, the sorry, the one year anniversary of that election. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow is the one year birthday of getting magnetic. Yes. And that is so cool. And I want to high five because I'm proud of you and us for sticking with this for a year and seeing it through and going through with it. And I think we've learned so much along the way in the last year along the journey and just like it's been incredible it's been incredible and I think today's focus today's message we kind of want to ask you like what is something that you know maybe has been like a pipe dream or that you're like oh that'd be cool one day or like I don't know it's stashed in the back of your mind but you're like you haven't taken any steps towards actually doing it because for us we talked about for years especially Wade, like Wade has such a great, like, you know, he's the ultimate hype man. He has a great like <laughs> motivational voice, all the things like about. Sandy says I have a podcast voice for those of you does. that know me. Like, do I have, do I have a different voice on the podcast than in real life? I feel like sometimes I hear him and I'm like, Oh, there's the voice. <laughs> <laughs> I actually listened back after she said it. I'm like, okay, I see what you mean. I don't try and do it, but it just kind of happens. So I guess getting magnetic has taught me a podcast voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's great. You're like acting as if you're really stepping into right, character. Right. Um, but no, I want to ask you, like, what is something that you've wanted to do that maybe you haven't? Because for us, like starting a podcast was something that we thought about and joked about and dreamt about for years. But it was like, who the hell do we think we are? Who's going to listen to our podcast? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Actually, a lot of you are listening. We just ran the numbers. Guys, we have 128,000 downloads in over 50 countries in the past 12 months. Like, that is insane. And so if you think that your little dream is not going to affect and impact and touch other people's lives, guess what? You're wrong. So I want to, like, just put – this isn't to, like, boast and brag and, like, ooh, like – Sandy and Wade, Mm -hmm. I just want to show you, like, this was something that we were like, we have no idea what will become of this, Mm -hmm. but I think this is really cool. Why don't we share with our listeners, like, let's start listing off some of these countries. Yeah. So we have a little over a hundred episodes. I think this is the hundred and third and we have over 128,000 downloads, like Sandy said, 50 countries. So let's just start. Biggest one is the U S right. That's where most of our listeners are. Shout out you guys. Canada. Australia, the UK, New Zealand, South Africa, Spain, Germany, Poland, Paraguay, Mexico, Mexico, viva, uh, Puerto Rico, Taiwan, Guam, Ireland, Denmark, Indonesia, Bermuda, Afghanistan, Sweden, Russia, Philippines, the Virgin Islands, Thailand, Portugal, Netherlands, Japan, Greece, oh my hometown, France, Cyprus, Costa Rica, Belgium, Andorra, British Virgin Islands, Trinidad and Tobago, Turkey, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, French Polynesia, Panama, Nepal, 
Norway. Uh, you think some like monks are listening to getting magnetic? Like <laughs> I don't this know. is dope. I can't talk for a bit, but I'm listening. Norway, okay. Nigeria. Malaysia. Macedonia. Kuwait. Kenya. Jamaica. Italy. Iran. India. Israel. Croatia. Algeria. Dominican Republic. Czech Republic. Colombia. Switzerland. Switzerland. Brazil. Aruba. And Austria. Like that isn't, I have chills. That is seriously surreal. I've never even spent the time to go through all the different countries. We haven't been to most of those countries, but it's incredible to know that it's like, wow, we're touching people around the world. Mm -hmm. And even just thinking through like the stories, the feedback, the emails, the Instagram messages, like when we've met some of you guys in person, like the feedback we get from you guys about what getting magnetic has inspired you to do or how it's impacted your life or honestly even saved your life. Like we've gotten a few messages of people saying that they've been in a really dark place and like on the verge of suicide and have started listening to getting magnetic and it's given them hope and it's inspired them to like hang on and it's inspired them to change their habits. Like that is so powerful. That's why we do it, right? Like that is why we started this. I mean, is for you, for you out there listening, like it's not for us. It's a creative, you know, platform. It's a creative outlet, but it is for you the listener in hopes that you can take it and go and it lights you up and spread your light in the world. That's that's why we're here doing it. And so and the reason, you know, we keep going it is that interaction is that feedback from you guys is that like knowing there's people out there all over the world listening and and sharing with us and sharing your takeaways and tagging us on Instagram and all the different things like the community aspect of it has been absolutely incredible I think it's just it's hard to even put into words and I think through too like I know we've had some incredible guests on our podcast some of which have been so moved and inspired by the feedback and outpour of love I think that they've gotten mm-hmm. from people listen that some of them have decided I'm launching my own podcast. Mm-hmm. Like Debbie Neal now has her own podcast, Level Up with Debbie Neal. Freaking incredible. Shout out Debbie Neal. She was one of our first guests on, didn't have a podcast. And she's like, you guys inspired me. We're like, oh my God, we inspired Debbie Neal. Which is so cool. Uh, so like, amazing. That was one of our mentors and still is. And now she's a dear friend. And like even to be in that position where she's like, you guys gave me that tug, like, oh, I should do this too. Yeah. Like, let's do it. And I think Danielle McCleary too, mm-hmm. right? On the mm-hmm. Daily with Danielle McCleary. She was another guest we had on early on in the show. She now is rocking her own pod. She's killing it. Um, you guys know Alacia Citro, the corporate dropout. We recently had her. She now launched her own podcast. Like, guys, what is something that you could do to move the needle that you may not even realize is going to have a massive tidal wave tsunami ripple effect that is going to inspire other people to do the same thing. You leaning boldly and deeply into something that is something that excites you. And when you do it with passion, like people see that, people feel that. And it they it helps them see something in themselves that they're capable of. And you're helping them like pull that out of them. So how can you like level up your life? How can you do something that's like maybe you've been shy about? that ultimately when you do, it will, as, as you can see, as you just heard, like change the world, like touch the world. Mm -hmm. And it it's on your own, you know, magnitude. Right. And I'm going to say, unless you come into something with a huge amount of influence, it starts small and let's go through just some lessons, some things we've learned or picked up along the way. Like one in starting what you realize, if it's been on your heart for years, like you were meant to do it, like just do it, just rip the bandaid off and just start, start messy, start before it's perfect. It'll never be perfect. That's why I love Sandy and I as a partnership because Sandy's like ready to start yesterday. And I'm like kind of coordinating and planning and logistics. I'm like, okay, we need this and that and we need to get this set up and that set up. So it's a good balance and a good mix. But I remember back to when we were starting, we got linked up with Chase Mitchell, shout out Chase, our producer, Upstarter Podcast uh, Network. And he reached out to us. And we've told this story before, but it was totally a getting magnetic thing example where it was on my heart for years. And then it was kind of on our heart, like, let's do it together. Let's start a podcast. But like, ah, 
how do we do it? We don't know how. We don't want to do the back end stuff. We don't want to do the editing and production, whatever. And Chase reached out out of nowhere like, hey, have you guys ever thought about starting a podcast? I think you'd be great at it. Boom. There it goes. So once you start to declare it and think about it, thoughts become things, right? Where your energy goes, focus flows. Where Whatever you're focused on, like it will flourish in front of you. You start to talk about it with people. Resources are going to come to you. A producer of a podcast is going to show up in your Instagram DMs and be like, hey, let's do this. And so that was another big thing, delegating what we what weren't our strengths or what we weren't good at. But it came down to start before we were ready. If it was up to me, we would not have started November 4th, 2020. But Sandy's like, nope, let's pick a date. This is when we're doing it. And it was like a month away. And I'm like, you want to just launch a podcast and get everything set up in a month? She's like, yeah, why not? And Chase was like, okay, that's fast. It's aggressive, but we can do this. And he rode with it. And Sandy was like kind of the leader in the clubhouse there. And then Chase and I were behind the scenes like, what do we got to do? How do we get to do this? Okay, how do we set this up? Blah, blah, blah. And then we launched and we launched in November 4th. And here we are a year later. So what are some uh, what are some things you've taken away from like kind of doing that thing on your heart or over the course of the year, like how to stay with it, anything? I think when you start something, it always feels really sexy and it's like so exciting and there's mm-hmm. all this hype. Like remember when we first launched it, like there was literally hundreds of friends and family and people supporting and Mm -hmm. like everyone was like all about it and it's like so exciting Mm -hmm. um and like anything like things ebb and flow right Mm -hmm. and there's been seasons (laughs) over the past year of being like i don't really feel like recording that or like uh let's let's reschedule or you know like maybe when you don't always feel like on fire about it Mm -hmm. and it's like that's normal like you're not going to be like in the high at all times but it's like remembering I guess why you're doing it and being able to think bigger picture of like, okay, this isn't, this is about more than just like, it's something so much bigger. You have to like be able to see outside the box, I guess. But something that really sticks out too is like when you think about a business or you think about like a hobby or you think about like a lot of things that people start, they're usually not still doing them what, 30 days later, (laughs) let alone six months, let alone a year. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of sticks out to me is like consistency, Mm -hmm. like with anything in your life, like what you're consistent with will continue to grow. We have released, I think, two episodes every single week for the past year, right? I think we started just one, but very quickly we went into two. Yeah, 104 episodes. This This is 105 actually. Yeah. So consistency, right? And it's like, listening to you guys and what you want to what you want to hear what you want us to focus on and just being flexible of like every episode (laughs) is so different and we talk about all different topics but it's just like being open and not super strict and regimented and just knowing like if an idea or something comes our way it's not there by accident and like we get to use this vehicle to you know communicate to so many of you and touch thousands of people's lives and we're just grateful that like this idea that was like this tiny little like imprint of a freckle of a speck of a crumb of an idea has like evolved into what it is. I absolutely love that. I That is probably the biggest takeaway one year in over a hundred episodes in is that consistency is that the idea is sexy, but it becomes unsexy like the day in day out. And what you realize is success in anything and not saying being a year into a podcast is the definition of success. No, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. But uh, success and failure is actually closer than you think. Like I heard on a training today that the difference is consistency. The difference is mastering the mundane, doing, being willing to do the unsexy things. Sandy's totally right. Have we been like fired up 105 times to hop on the mic and be like, let's do this? No, not every time. Sometimes it's like, oh my gosh. But you get, you get there, you show up, you get on the mic. And then you bring your best self out. And when you go to the gym, like let's say for anyone who does, is it fun always to wake up at five and get to a 6 a.m. workout? Like no, but you're there and you know you're better from it. So like first that having the idea, having that gut feeling, having the vision, then acting on it, doing it sloppy, doing it messy, starting imperfectly, but starting and then staying consistent, knowing it's not always going to feel like the sexy new idea, the sexiest thing in the world. 
but staying consistent is everything. And we, you know, the, I don't know, the average podcast probably doesn't make it a year. So I feel, I definitely feel a level of pride there. And I, like you said, we're just getting started. I'm excited for what's ahead and what's to come. And we've learned so much along the way. Every episode is a learning lesson. Every time we connect with you guys as listeners, is feedback is we're learning, we're improving, we're seeing, we study the trends too. Like what do people like? Where are there the most listens? Where are the most downloads? Like it's been just an incredible process and we're grateful to be a part of it with you. I think in wrapping up here, I feel like we need to do a one year giveaway. Yeah. What do you think? Like let's just kind of make it up on the fly. Okay. Like guys, I feel like if you're listening right now and you've loved getting magnetic, like we'd love to hear that. So let's, let's roll out a few things like holidays are coming up, Mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, stocking stuffers, like Hanukkah, Christmas shopping, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Like, what if we do a cash giveaway? Like what if we do a cash giveaway or like maybe like an Amazon card or something like that is pretty much as good as cash these days. Yeah. Okay. So I say, so what's the criteria here? They need to write a five star I think let's do like a post on, Okay. let's do a post and the criteria will be in the post. The criteria will be in the post. Yes. We're looking at each other like sign language this and we both us. don't speak like sign Sandy language. Like Sandy wants to just go on the fly and I'm like, can we think about <laughs> He's this He's like holding his second? hand up like, slow down, <laughs> sister. <laughs> okay. So in the show notes, we're going to tell you what you need to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is going to be really exciting and it's, it, it's going to involve you sharing it on social media. Oh, I have some good ideas. Mm-hmm. I have on the fly ideas. I love your cash or like gift, like Amazon on or visa or something like yeah. that i think we're in the season of giving and being grateful and gratitude so let's figure out some sort of gratitude giveaway gratitude Ooh. journals or something okay um, what if our producer threw this idea out to us what if for one person too let's say you're an entrepreneur or you have a business we could do a live coaching call on recorded getting on getting magnetic for everyone to hear let's do that okay let's do those three things okay of a gift card gratitude some gratitude gift journals or something and the live coaching call all right boom let's well all down. right criteria will be in the look at this this is how we roll <laughs> we're just on the mic going through this that'll be in the instagram post so we'll we'll share that in the show notes yes guys thank you for being part of getting magnetic happy birthday getting magnetic I'm trying to think. I feel like I had one more thing in my heart, in my gut. Did you? Yeah. One year in? What do you want to say? One year in. Oh, where we're where we're headed. Oh, let's talk. Where we're going. I we've been I've been thinking about it. I'm sure Sandy has. We've been thinking about it. Like, who are do we exactly speak to? Like, what is our niche? Because uh, we hop in and it's motivational, it's inspirational. There's a lot of entrepreneurship. There's some love and relationship and couple stuff. But what I see for us, and I'm literally going off the gut, we did not discuss this, is something around, because we're about to have baby cam, we're about to extend our family, something around like business and family and lifestyle all combined, like couples that work together and build their life and business together and like just being an inspiration there. Relationship, love, love, life, business. Like I feel like whenever we ask, like we do one of those question polls, like what do you want to hear? People are like, how do you, how's your marriage so strong? Or how do you guys work together? Or how do you balance work life and, and Mm. personal life? Like, you know, people are always so intrigued by like the fact that we work together and the fact that we love each other so hard. And people are like, sometimes people are like, it seems too good to be true, but like I've met you in person and you guys like actually really do love each other. Okay. This is so good. We were just thinking we're going to do a business series after this. And then our next series after let's just focus all on like love relationship Mm. series. Okay. Especially because Cam will be here and it'll be amazing and love and fun and hard and easy and everything all at once and we'll have all the emotions and i think we'll really be ready to give from there let's do it all right guys sing it with us happy Happy birthday birthday to you you. (laughs) happy birthday birthday to you you. happy Happy birthday birthday, dear getting getting magnetic (laughs) happy Happy birthday birthday to you. you over and out over and out see you next time Have you grabbed our bundle of the brand new 90 Day Habits Journal and the 90 Day Habits Planner? This is a great gift to a teammate. This is a great gift for yourself. Help you get clarity, get organized, track your daily IPAs, track your activity. Go check out our website at 90dayhabits.co to get this bundle today. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. 
So remember, you are magnetic.